We have a special guest in the studio called Daniel Wonders. I would like him to introduce himself to our viewers. Hello, Daniel. Daniel Wonders here. Um, I'm a director, photographer. I'm based out in London, um, but I plan to be worldwide, so, you know, yeah, that's a little bit about what I do. Okay, you're Ghanaian um, based in the UK? Yes, as well. fully, yes. Okay, so so what, what uh, encouraged you to come here? You must have had uh, an epiphany of some sort. Yes, like during just my whole journey of what I have, like, initially, this is the fifth year I've been in filming for photography for, so I felt like there was like a missing piece. Mm. I was doing all this work and I was traveling, but I still felt I needed to go back back home. But mm. I was hesitant because I wasn't sure. So so and then um, I remember um, my all my friends were going, and I wanted <laughs> to um, go. So I typed in on a YouTube Ghana. Okay. Like, but there was nothing. There was no videos online that was showing me, that was persuading me. Oh, right. Somebody it... like me who has never been. Okay. There wasn't any videos persuading me to come. Just people. I've seen other videos. Yeah, but it was more like vlogs, like people mm. going and filming themselves. Yeah. Oh, yeah, guys, this is what I went through. But we never saw any visual proof of it apart from right. the party. So then, um, <laughs> right, so right. um, then, um, and also due to my fears of from when I was younger, my parents would say like, if you if you're bad, we will we'll take you back home. Ah, right, so the right. word bad and back home was always in my head. So mm. I just assumed that if I come home, I'm gonna get sick or I'm not gonna know <laughs> no one or I, I'm gonna be be lost. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and when I plucked up the courage to come back finally, yeah. The minute I landed, I saw everyone's black. Oh, like, wow. what did you expect? <laughs> <laughs> no, because in London you're so used to seeing every, like white people here, black, oh, right, black, right. black people here, and you can it can make you feel like you know you kind of you have to behave mm. in a sense. Not that you you have to, but it's not your home, in it. So oh, it's right. like it's, you move a bit different there. It's outspoken. I, I feel like here you can be so proud of who you are and mm. everybody will embrace it because everybody's on the, the, the same journey trying to get to where they're trying to go. I see. You know I see. I mean? All right, so uh, I wanted to ask what uh, actually inspired this documentary? Yeah. When I came to Ghana, as I said, um, I, I myself didn't know what mm. Ghana had. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So when I landed and I saw I, you know, initially, I'm a creative, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I just generally would just see things that would inspire me or excite me that people would, wouldn't really look at or really consider if they came here, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because most of us come back home and we're happy to be home, but we spend our time just partying and um, <laughs> there's more to go on than that, do you know what I mean? So I'm somebody, I too will, will party, but I connect with the locals and, I'll be talking to people. I'll, okay. I'll, be, I'll be finding out the living conditions. So I was just shooting little, little clips for my yeah. Instagram yeah. and taking pictures of just little things for my Instagram. But then what I was shooting and what the video I, I was doing, when I would post it, the reaction would be like, oh my God, wow, yeah. because of you, yeah. I'm going to book yeah. my um, ticket to Ghana. Nice. So I realized that people, there was a lot of things I was showing that people didn't know what was in Ghana. Yeah. So then... I had so much clips, I thought, yo, I can make this a doc. Right, So right, in, right. I, I never came to Ghana with the thought, I'm going to make a doc. It's just, okay. I'm just a creative person that was naturally just creating. And I, it, it hit me like, wow, okay. this mm. can become a documentary. Mm. Yeah. So I, the ideas came when you came to Ghana? Yes. It, it, this wasn't something I had prior to coming to Ghana. It's just that um, as I was shooting, in the, right, do you know what I mean? I was shooting little, little clips from my Instagram. Maybe yeah. I, I would go to the beach, I, yeah. I, I would shoot that. And then, you know what I'm saying? I I, I saw a, a, a bike life scene. I mm. didn't know that Ghana even had a bike scene where people would be outside on the street riding with the yeah. bikes. And I thought, wow, like the world needs to see all of this. this. Yeah. It's quite vibrant, actually. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. I see. So, how how has um, you, you know curating been like for you? You've met different people, yes. and you've gone through different experiences. W what about this is Ghana uh, that is going to be different 
you know, because again, you mentioned that there are vlogs that you saw on there. What makes this is Ghana so different from what we actually see out there? Because again, it's, it's your experience, yes. quite like this as yes. well. Well, I believe what's going to make this is Ghana so different is not um, necessarily the title or um, what it's, it's, it's about, but how people are going to feel. Because I want people to watch this not to be entertained, but to um, be educated and to feel that pride of, yeah, I'm, I'm from Ghana and I, I want to come back home mm. and be here. It's not necessarily coming back home to go back home, mm. to, to go back, but it's the, it's, it's the comeback <laughs> with the intention of staying eventually. Mm. And I also want the local person who sees this to see it and realize, Oh, I don't. I don't need to leave Ghana. Yeah. There is a lot here for me to do. So mm. I'm telling the the positive stories yeah. of Ghana. I'm not focusing on negatives. Yeah. It, it's not because is I'm being fake or right. I'm not showing the bad that is um is um going on. But I don't believe that um just be, because you show s s something bad that you're d d doing good, we yeah. have to see the the growth in order for us to realize what we we have so yeah. that we can move forward so mm -hmm. my whole goal is really to just to motivate people and show them a certain mindset that it takes because yeah. it is the mindset that yeah. can make us go further so your your personal uh, mission then is to uh, project ghana in a positive light yeah. through photography and videos and yes, in the documentary yes, as yeah, well yes yes okay yes. all right so if we would like to follow you uh, follow your progress get a view of you know your pictures and the clips that excited others as well to come here how do we follow you uh, what's your handle on instagram facebook my, my my handle on instagram facebook twitter wherever mm. you name it is danny wonders okay that's d-a-n-n-y w-o-n-d-e-r-s okay. and um yeah man 2020 yeah happy new year guys <laughs> um this decade is gonna be a huge one not just for myself for you you, you guys but just us all as a nation yeah right we've come so far and yeah it's all about keeping that mindset it's mm. not about thinking about what we've been through that is bad it's mm. about thinking about what we're going to go through that is great all right. Well, thank you so much, Danny. Wonders for joining us on New Day.